what's up? It's a Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and uh, today I'm going to talk about how I make my tutorials. I do a lot of uh, animation and uh, production work where I make things go uh, look from this into this, or I change uh, these type of scenes into something like this. So when starting off creating a tutorial, I normally first write a script. And this contains a lot of the key points that I want to talk about. So I use that uh, kind of like a guideline. So when I've got that, I'm going to record my voiceover. Right now I'm using the SE2200A2 by SE Electronics. And I'm uh, running that through this uh, Focusrite preamp. I've got this uh, Twin Track Pro right here. I also got some other SE microphones. I got the regular 2200, 6500, some stereo mics, the SEX1. But I really like uh, the simplicity of the 2200s. Easy to set up and it uh, works perfectly for the voiceovers that I'm, uh, that I'm doing. I also like to use the SE Reflection filter. And I've just uh, got a simple pop filter in front of the microphone. And uh, that's just my setup. I normally record with Cubase because that's uh, what I like to use. This can usually take up to a couple of takes. Sometimes I want to rephrase things or want to make uh, sentences a little bit shorter because I try to compress as much information in a short period of time. So when I've got a good uh, voiceover track, I'm going to add the intro team and the outro team and some of the music that needs to be uh, added to this as well. Right after that, I'm going to do the screen recordings if this tutorial needs any screen captures. So these are the first assets that I'm going to be using in my tutorial. The voiceover with the sound and the intro team and the screen captures which I uh, make when I'm doing software stuff. I'm going to create a new project in uh, Adobe After Effects where I'm going to import these assets to start with and creating a timeline. And I'm using a lot of uh, Adobe Photoshop to create images that I need to animate. So I can uh, directly import the PSD files into my After Effects project. Most of the work is probably animating things in and out of the screen, but this work also uh, consists out of a lot of masking stuff so I can reveal that over time, so it looks really like it's animated on. And a lot of uh, animation of knobs and such. So a month later when I'm uh, finished animating all the small things that I need to animate, I uh, finally have a product which I can render out and upload to YouTube. As you can imagine, this uh, animation takes the longest time of the whole creation process. I'm an Adobe Creative Cloud member, so I get all these uh, nice updates that they're pushing. So I'm a big Adobe fan. So this was a little bit of an insight how I create my tutorials. You can imagine this uh, takes quite some time. So I'm uh, going to get back to creating more useful tutorials instead of uh, creating tutorials about creating tutorials. If any of you guys are really interested in uh, knowing more in depth of how I create these tutorials, so basically some After Effects tutorials and maybe some uh, some recording tutorials of how I do the, the chopping of my voice in the, in the voiceovers, that type of stuff, just let me know in the comment section and uh, perhaps if there's a lot of you guys interested in that, I might do that later. For now, I'm going to be uh, going back to mixing and sound tutorials. This was just a, a request that I got a lot, so uh, there you go. All right, this was it for today. I hope you've learned something a little bit uh, about uh, how I do my stuff, and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.